Hey guys, Jen here. So <clears throat> today I finally was able to get out and get to the store and get all the supplies to do some Disney recipes that I found on the Disney Parks blog and one recipe I found on the Universal Parks blog. So we have four recipes we're gonna, I think four, I gotta double check, recipes we're gonna make today. So let's get started. So first we'll be making, well, I don't know what order I'm gonna actually make them in yet. The first one is Universal's Green Eggs and Ham Tater Tots we're gonna be making. We're gonna be making one of the Raglan Road Irish Soda Bread recipes. From Epcot's Canada Pavilion, the cheddar cheese soup. And from Ohana, we're gonna be making their bread pudding dessert. So we're gonna start with the cheddar cheese soup from the Canada Pavilion. So you need one pound of smoked bacon, chopped finely, which I obviously haven't done yet. You need one medium red onion, finely chopped, half a cup of celery, and a half a cup of carrots, finely chopped. So let's get to work. So first step is to cook the, that is a lot of bacon. One pound is a lot of bacon. This soup's gonna be so good. But you gotta brown it until, no, you gotta cook it until wilted but not brown. All right, so my bacon's looking pretty wilted but not browned. So I think we are good now to Add the veggies. I don't think I have a big enough pot. I hope I do. Oops, I just flung an onion across the room. Alright, so now we continue to cook a little bit too high until the onions are translucent. Oh my gosh, there's gonna be, there's so much stuff in this soup. It's gonna be a chunky soup. So now that I added the veggies, <clears throat> I think, doesn't say anything about draining it, but you have to cook the bacon until it's crisp, and I don't know how the bacon's gonna crisp with all the fat in the bottom. <sighs> I hate incomplete recipes. I very much do. So I don't know if I should drain it or not. Have you guys ever made this? Post in the comments below if I'm supposed to drain it or not. Okay, so there is a there was a lot of fat on this bacon. Um, so I am draining some of it. Because I feel like there's too much fat that it's not going to cook right. Again, doesn't say yes or no. And do or do not, there is no try, so we're just doing. And I put that in my measuring cup that's plastic, and I really hope it doesn't melt it. That was probably something really stupid to do. Oh yeah, now there's just a little bit on the bottom, just to keep it from sticking. This will be perfect. Okay, now I'm happy. Okay, so I could not find a 12 ounce bag of pre-shredded cheddar cheese. And like the store brand was only like 50 cents less than the really good, like you want good cheese, Tillamook is amazing cheese. It's from Oregon. So I just bought a block and I'm just going to shred it myself. But now I got to put some work in. All right, so what I didn't film was we added some flour and stirred that continuously for two minutes. Thank you, Jeremy, you rocked it. So now we're going to add in three, three cups of milk and two cups of chicken stock. The recipe calls for scalded which means you cook it to an almost boil, but there was also a note in the recipe that as long as it was at room temperature, you didn't have to do that. So I've just had the stuff sitting out on the counter so it would be at room temperature. And 
Oh, whoops. Little at a time. Didn't read that part. Whatever. There's no lumps. And then... I mean, there's really not lumps. I actually did pretty good, considering I didn't follow the directions at all. We were set a little bit at a time, and I just dumped it all in. But now, I'm just scraping the bottom to get that nice, good stuff off the bottom. That fat that got all crispy. Flavored in real good. I don't see any lumps. And I think, like, the lumps I see are just bits of bacon that I didn't cook all the way. So now I gotta bring it to a boil. It's almost boiling. Once it gets to a rolling boil, we will cover and simmer for 15 minutes before the next step. Now, I do have to make an addendum to this day. I forgot to add the baby spinach to my Amazon pantry order, so I cannot make the green eggs and ham tater tots. We'll have to do that another day. But, oh, here we go. So now we're gonna simmer it on low. I'm gonna do one quick stir just so that nothing's stuck. And we're gonna cover. And then this cooks for 15 minutes. So as I was saying, not able to do the green eggs and ham tots until I buy the baby spinach tomorrow. And I've already been to the store twice for stuff I forgot, so I'm not going back a third time today. But I do have everything for the Irish soda bread. And I figured that will be amazing with the cheddar cheese soup. So let's get that started. So for this recipe, we need five cups of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of baking soda, one tablespoon of baking powder. Do not mix these up. It makes a huge mistake. A half a teaspoon of iodized salt and one teaspoon of sugar. Just a spoonful of sugar to make the bread taste divine. So we start by adding four of the five cups of flour into the mixing bowl. final ingredients. We need um, the hot sauce where it says three dashes. So one, two, three. I don't like spicy so I did very small dashes. It is I'm sure to taste. A half of a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. Just a teeny tiny bit to flavor. A half a cup of dark ale beer. Um, Lee purchased, what did he get? A Guinness Extra Stout. And the cheese, because this is a cheese soup. Of course the cheese won't go in, awesome. And that's literally it. It says salt and pepper to taste. And then you just, it says to serve with um, just some chives on the top. Personally, do not eat green onions, so there will be no chives with this soup. This smells interesting. And actually, actually oh, it smells correct. Oh, I'm excited. It smells right. It doesn't seem as thick as it does in Epcot, though. Ooh, I am making quite a mess. So, we're just going to let that sit and thicken a little bit while I go back to our Irish soda bread. And back to the bread. Now that all of our dry ingredients are mixed together, remember we have one cup of flour put aside um, that's not being used in the main batter. Then we add buttermilk and butter and mix together and it, it is so weird to me that I am starting with my dry ingredients and adding the wet to it. It's like so opposite of any way I've ever cooked. 
you always add the dry to the wet. And this one, it specifically states to do it the other way around. Ooh, buttermilk is thick. Ooh, it's already starting to look like batter. For dough, I guess it would be. All right, next I have to tear off about 10 to 12 baseball size dough balls. My hands have been washed. And place them on a baking tray with parchment paper. So, I don't know what they consider a baseball but these are a lot smaller sized than a baseball and I still only got 11. Baseball sized, I only would've got like five or six. So I took them about half of that size. And now it says with the final cup to just dust them, but like it's not gonna take an entire cup of flour for this. I don't know if this is what dusting means or not. Never made bread before. I think they need to take a brush and paint it on. How the heck do you do that? You put you put a nice thin layer of little like all on top. You use the brush and you swipe it back and forth. Doesn't say brush. It says dust. So that's good enough. And then we bake them for 12 to 14 minutes. So I just took them out. I mean, hmm. This is not what any Irish soda bread I've ever had before look like. It's very light. I feel like any other Irish soda bread I had has been a very dark bread, but this one's like very, I guess because it uses regular flour to light bread, I don't know, but, and it took a lot longer. Um, it took 17, 12, 30, 40, 15, 16, 17 minutes. Um, but my food has a tendency to look gross, but taste good. So fingers crossed, here's to hoping it tastes good. So you may notice that the bread is no longer on top. I cut one open for germ and noticed that it was still raw dough on the middle. So they are back in the oven. Okay, so you're gonna see some hands come into play. They are germ, he's, he's going to taste it, but he doesn't wanna be filmed. So we're just gonna look at the bowl. All right. So it seems like it's a lot thinner than it is in the Canada Pavilion, but taste a germ and let me know what you think. Tastes weird. Tastes weird? Is that a no? No. Okay, one no for germ. So here we go, I'm gonna taste it. I'm gonna have to show you, it has a very grainy like texture. So, oh man, I did something wrong. But, it's actually really good. It's not thick enough, but it's very good. I might have to add some cornstarch or something to it to thicken it up a little bit. But it's really good. So I think you can see. See how it has like a very grainy consistency? I don't know what I did wrong. And I can tell you the bacon did not cook the way it said it was going to in the recipe. So I think next time I'll completely cook the bacon before I add anything else. Okay. I put it in for like an eternity more. I want to say I didn't actually time it, but it was probably like another 15 minutes. Um, it still doesn't taste all the way cooked to me. So I'm pretty sure this is going to be a big fat no. So the recipe also calls for you to put it with apple butter. Let me tell you, this was really hard to find. It took me, let's see, I think three stores to actually find it. And I could only find this giant thing of it. So I put some on a piece of the bread and now we're gonna try and see if it's any good. Bon appetit. The apple butter is really good. I'll use that on like toast and stuff, but the bread itself, not good. Oh, not good at all. So I think they're disgusting. Jerm likes them. He says we'll eat them. Um, I just would rather throw them away. But we'll have to wait and see what Lee says. He's gonna try the soupa. It's a little watery. I know. I don't know why. 
Oh, it's good. I know, right? I don't know why it came out so wittery. I think because I used 2% milk instead of whole milk because I can't drink whole milk. It's good. It's good. This definitely I would make again. Tweak the recipe a little bit. Um, oh, yeah. Let's see what you think about those. I'm not going to be able to taste the roll because I'm going to... Well, you need to taste the roll. There's some apple butter you can put on it. Say that again. Very dry. Very dry, yeah. I don't like them. Jeremy says they're good. Very dry. Yeah. I, th I did have to cook them like twice as long as I said it was going supposed to cook. Too dry. Yeah. But the soup, delicious. So for my first foray into cooking Disney, it was... I guess technically a passing grade because it was 50-50. Um, wound up throwing out the rest of the Irish soda bread because it was just really gross. <clears throat> I don't know if like I copied the recipe wrong and missed an ingredient or what, but the bread literally just tasted like flour. Like it was so gross. But the soup's amazing. <clears throat> what I'm going to do is post a blog post on themeparkohana.com. I will put a link in the description below that has the recipe typed out so that you guys can have it if you want to try to make it. But I will be doing more and I also never did make the Ohana bread pudding because I was just exhausted. <clears throat> so one day this weekend I will do the green egg and ham tots and the Ohana bread pudding. So we'll do another cooking video for that. But if you guys like these videos, please click that subscribe button, tap the like, and ring that notification bell so you always know when a new video is headed your way. Thank you so much for watching, and now we're on to the next adventure. Bye, guys!